Welcome, folks. I'm Jabby Kawai, joined by Achara Kirk. What's up? We're continuing on with Squid Game, this time on Episode 8, The Front Man. If you're watching this on YouTube, you're going to see a cut-down version of our reaction because we're only allowed to show you a limited amount of picture-in-picture. Picture. If you want to watch the whole thing along with us, uncut, uninterrupted, head over to our Patreon page, patreon.com slash However, you will need your own Netflix subscription so you can open up the show in an adjacent window to our reaction. And it's like you're watching it with your two favorite pals from the internet. So, you might notice that this uh, look is slightly different than what you're used to. I would love to hear your feedback if you like it more, if you didn't notice, if you like it the same, you like the previous one better. I'd love to hear your feedback just because we're testing out different lights. If you are watching this on Patreon already, thanks so much for supporting us here. If you're watching this on YouTube, please hit that subscribe button, bell icon, all notifications, and vote this up to let YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching. All right, let's jump into this. Ah, oh, it feels really somber. It's just the three of them, right? Mm-hmm. Is she okay? Uh oh. There's blood. Oh, I don't like this. Mm, we can find out about him. Oh no. Oh no. Get rid of that shit. Yes. Ziplock for the win. <sighs> oh, wait, don't tell me that you run out of battery right now as you're trying to call. Twelve percent. Oh wow. come on. Just, just make a call. I don't know. Text someone. Do something. Or, or run. I mean, maybe. Maybe that'll be okay. Where is he? I hope you know how to climb a rock. Oh no. Is she like super injured? And she's just not showing it? I don't have a good feeling about this. She looked, in the last episode, she looked like... like I don't know, like that maybe something hit her critically. <laughs> Oh, here comes the truth. Makes a good point. Mm hmm. What is that? Oh, they get different outfits. We're all we, stuck in the same shit hole. Shower? I don't know. It so does look like a PlayStation logo. Right? All I need is an X. Yeah, see? She's not well. What the hell? She got, Ugh. yeah, she Ugh. got hit like really badly. Oh no. Was it necessary to have the glass explode? <sighs> oh, come on. You're they don't so fix you close. up, do they? No, they don't. <sighs> yeah, you gotta stop that bleeding. It's not like she can tell the guys either. I don't think. Like,. I don't know if it would be wise, especially with Sangwoo the way he is. He'd probably just be like, it's like "Oh, she's it. weak." Yeah. Come on, girl, you've made it this far. What kind of outfit is that? Is that GPS? What is it? You guys have time for this? Yeah. Get, get back and keep the games going. Yeah, you got a game to. <laughs> Oh, alive. How many? Six. Okay. What's that? Ex oh, okay. Oh. <gasps> Put on low battery mode. It's probably already on. Okay, yeah, now. Now you're calling. Good job, good job. Chief, pick up. No, 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 no. 
확인하세요. 야, 야. 다시 연락 드릴게요. 야, do it now cuz you might die, dude. He's going to use up all his batteries sending that shit. That is going to take a minute. Yeah, but hopefully like there's maybe like a geolocation tag or something, right? A little bit of movie magic there that has got any phone left, any battery left. I know. Samsung. I'm telling you. <laughs> it's that new re new refresh rate. <laughs> the Apple refresh rate it goes down to like 10 hertz or something. It's Korea. We we love Samsung, okay? That looks rather this nice. This crazy. It's, this almost feels like um, that last meal before oh. the electric chair. Oh, right, yeah. Wow. Oh. That's elegant. That is elegant. What if like eight people <laughs> showed, like, well, ended they up? They didn't. Yeah. I mean, the table's big enough that it could accommodate. Oh, God, she's not looking good. Just assuming you even like steak. I think it's such bullshit that they had the glass explode and didn't even, like, shield them or anything. Yeah. Can you even eat when you're feeling that awful from a wound? I don't know. But I think she should try, because, like, the steak has iron. And she, she needs it. No signal? Oh... Oh no, oh no. How did they catch up to him? He had a head start. Like, chow down, chow down. Taste the food, this might be your last meal. I mean, I wouldn't drink, honestly. You, you wanna go into the last round with a hangover? Well, yeah, you shouldn't, well, she shouldn't be drinking. Yeah, she should that's heal. gonna thin her blood, right? Maybe I'm being stupid, but I just don't think it's a good idea. It would just make the healing process slower. Oh, look, he knows if she's not. Oh my god, is she just gonna bleed out and die? Like she needs stitches. I would do it for her. Keep running! I don't know, hide or something. What the freaking hell? They're <sighs> Who would ever take that deal? If you give me that stuff, I might let you live. Yeah, like, like okay, that's well, that's dumb. Not Either way, I might die. Oh no, she's barely eaten. Why wouldn't they just let her finish? Uh oh, the final game. What is this? Oh boy. Is it supposed to be that only one person can get out? Perhaps. Like there's one winner? Perhaps. In the in the book, I don't know if I read it correctly, but maybe it seemed to imply that maybe there's only one winner. That's terrible. They document yeah. Why Maybe they can do like hunger games. <laughs> Katniss and her boys were left together. Yeah. Uh, do. What are you doing? Why are you backing up? This is the moment where you either take him out and die. He's going to reveal himself, isn't he? He's going to what? Is he going to reveal his mask? Is he going to pull his mask off? No, bro. I don't shit. Bro. Bro. 
Is it, bro, is it bro? Brother. Is it bro? Don't jump. Don't jump off. Don't jump off, dude. He's gonna shoot him? Oh, maybe he saved him by shooting him in the shoulder. Don't shoot him anymore, please. Let him go. Don't fall on rocks on the way down. Fall in the water. Fall into the water. Oh, thank God. He's okay. Are you sure? Maybe. We need to see him die. That's how. That's Did how we put know. Put the phone back in the pouch, maybe. In the show, maybe. On the it, way down, just slipped it in the Ziploc bag. Real maybe quick. something went through. We were right about our predictions, though, yep. because we said that the brother was probably working with the organization. Yeah. That seemed to be an obvious one. I thought it was the host, but yeah, it's close enough. Because the host bounced. Yeah. <sighs> but he shot him in the in like the shoulder, right? Yeah, left though. We could have nicked that. It's close enough. Well, like you'd have to get quite center for the heart. Do you think the sound carries? Why are you doing I that guess way? Not. Yeah, that seems pretty silly, doesn't it? <laughs> might stab yourself by accident as you yeah. reach in. But I suppose you don't want to stab yourself downwards either. Yeah, that just seems like a bad idea. <laughs> Blade down. She's not gonna make it. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Yeah. You don't know if the game is gonna be won against. Are you going to kill him? He's tricking you. I, w I would imagine the same thing. Yeah. But if... If they kill him, then it's definitely going to be one against one in the last game. Oh, miraculously, it's facing the correct way. Oh, come on, why? Why? Why not do it? This is part of the game. <laughs> oh, come on, lady. That's its opportunity. Never hesitate. Oh, I should have just gone for it. But I suppose... Oh, did she die? No. I'm not going to die. I'm not going to die. <laughs> oh man. Um, no. This sucks. What if dude comes out behind? <laughs> What? What? Look. Oh, 
Are they just gonna shoot her? What? Oh, that sucks. I guess they recognize she's dead already. Did he what? kill her? No way. He killed her while she was... No way! No! <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't turn around and just stab him in the back. Oh, you're wild and angry now. That sucks. Aww. Man. Oh man. I'm glad I kept, kept the tissues here. Do you need one? That thing is creepy. Yeah. A little dull. I was really hoping she was going to make it. Yeah, I was... It's like you've already gone through a lot of shit. I know. I was afraid, though, since the end of that last episode. Like, seeing her reaction to the glass, I was like... That wasn't just a cut on the face. That sucks. Man. Oh, man. I feel really bad for... Or how do you say her name? Se Sebyok. Sebyok. I feel really, really bad for her. Yeah. Because it's like she's already gone through enough punishment as it is as a character. I mean, I know that this is all just writing and fictional and it's made up, but it just sucks. I was really hoping that at the other end of her journey, she had something like rewarding for her. You can see the trajectory of the show, right? Yeah. The ending is most likely our main character gets out alive because like that would be horrible if the banker guy got away with all that money. Yeah. But I mean, it is a Korean show. So it's entirely possible that it would conclude that way. But I mean, my expectation or anticipation is that our main dude is going to come out of this with the money. And it's like, you won, but did you? You know, it's one of those things. It's like, you won, but at what cost? Yeah, I really hope that even though he didn't verbally promise her that he was going to, you know, take well, you care know of he's going to. her brother. Like, I hope he does. No, you know he's going to. There's no hope. Like, you know that that's what's coming at the end of this. I was just like concerned because she didn't say all the information other than her name. I know. How is he going to be able to locate any of these details? You know, maybe it'll all come out because everything's going to just explode. And unless there's like a season two coming that... Is there a season two coming? I'm not well, sure. Like, because everything could just come to light in terms of the, the information. Like, they get investigated. All those records are exposed. And therefore, her record is exposed. Our main character will be able to locate the family and whatnot. So maybe he doesn't get the money, but he's got his family back. Yeah, who, who knows? Who knows what direction the ending is going to take? I also feel like Gihan is going to be the winner. That makes the most sense but like you I'm like okay well <laughs> it's a Korean show so yeah. you know maybe it could go either way but I wonder what question the creators are going to pose to us about morality and human nature when it comes down to the finale because if like you say everything gets exposed and he doesn't win the money that's one way to go about it I don't know it might be more interesting to see what happens like how he handles it when he gets the money and, and then you have that question of like was it everything you hoped for was it worth it well yeah i mean and he's not he's not good with money management to begin with so it's like you're giving a guy who's terrible with money a lot of it but i guess neither is the banker for that matter yeah i'm frustrated because she told him not to kill the banker and then he the banker ends up killing her as a result and like you see this play out a lot there's a whole movie with mark Wahlberg centered around this idea that was based on an actual event of these guys who were i forget the name of the film but these military guys who were in like a forest or something and they came across this kid 
kid and they let the kid go because they're good people and they don't want to kill a kid. Right. And that kid ends up signaling to a bunch of the military there like, yo, these guys are in the middle of the forest. You got to go get them. That has happened so many times in stories. I guess the question is like, how important is your humanity? How important is your morality? I get what you're saying, but also I was kind of freaked out to hear you say, oh, you got to go kill him now because I'm like... That, yeah, is that no. how you would play the I, game? That's how, exactly how I would play that out. Because you're in a situation with a guy who is ruthless and you have to be just as ruthless to ensure the survival of your ilk to make sure that you guys are okay. Like, this is just evolution. I like, un- you have to do that. Like, it's not that I'm not hoping that he's going to become this, like, mass murderer and is just as bad in the real world as the banker. Like, he's obviously a good dude, but I think his instincts were correct. He needed to take out the threat because that guy is, he's a wild card in that, like, you don't know what he's going to do, who he's going to hurt. He's willing to step on everybody to get ahead. You got to take that dude out. You had an opportunity there and you lost it because she said, no, don't do it. You're a good person. It's like, no, but there's no good or bad here. There is a threat. Do you know what I mean? I understand. And that's probably why if I played this game, I'd be dead already. (laughs) In a circumstance like that, you have to do the most uncomfortable thing. I personally don't want to like kill anybody. Like I don't want anyone to die ever in an ideal situation, but that is the most unideal circumstance, except for the fact that that dude was weakened for a moment. But I do think that your instincts were correct. I think that he might have been pretending. I mean, we can just project onto that. Like he was pretending and what he was going to do is at the last second. I did think like when Gihan ran to the door and he was banging on it and he was like, help, help, help. I did think, although I didn't say it in the reaction, that now you're just alerting the other guy sang Wu, now you're just alerting him that she's injured and that she's dying. He's projecting it out there. If he was actually asleep, now he knows. That reveal was devastatingly perfect. When they open the door and the lights come on and you think, oh my God, are they really going to help her? And then they come in with the coffin. Mm -hmm. We all know what happened. I don't think there was a single one of us watching that was like... Oh, well, I I didn't know that that she got killed. I thought she died for sure. Yeah. Like either she died or she was dying. And so they were just bringing in the coffin anyway. And then I was like, well, no, they wouldn't bring the coffin in unless she's died. So my assumption was that she just died on the bed. I didn't realize dude took her out. Well, yeah, she, like, I mean, it was it was like a very well executed reveal in layers because yeah. you're like, oh shit, the coffin means she's dead, and then you see Sangwu standing over her, and then all of the pennies start to drop, and yeah, it's yeah, yeah. just like, oh my god, why are you breaking my heart again? Yeah, well, here's the thing, going back to what we just talked about a second ago, the main character could not kill the banker. Yeah, narratively, like even if he had the opportunity, even if the banker was actually vulnerable and actually asleep and wasn't just like trying to lure anybody in so he can kill them back. Mm -hmm. Even if that opportunity was there, narratively for the audience, I don't think it would have been good. It wouldn't have sat right with us if he just murdered that guy while he was sleeping. Right. And so it's appropriate that she stopped him and she's like, no, you're a good person, etc. But in real life, I would have preferred that he took the dude out. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I get it. If you want to play the game and you're playing to win or if you're in a situation where it's like, I have to protect my family and it's us or them. I understand that behavior, but it does make me feel sad. The game is pitting people against each other and putting them in an extreme situation, which hopefully in your life, you never have to experience that and you never have to make that choice, you know? Idealism is all well and good until you're in a situation that's fucked. (laughs) (laughs) Well, it's almost like, it's almost like what you can be idealistic and, and I struggle with this sometimes, you know, it's like you can be idealistic, but then when you're in the real world where it's literally sometimes taking a bath in a pig pen you have to play dirty otherwise you will not survive and I I hate that I hate that I am that idealistic person who's like I just want it to be that everyone plays fair and like we all do this but like as you can see from the game no one does everyone wants to use every advantage that they have like even the dude who could see the glass Mm -hmm. you know like he kept it he kept that information until later. He could have helped more people. But. Yeah, you're right. Um, anyways, you guys, thanks so much for supporting us here on the Patreon. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Please hit the subscribe. I mean, if you're watching this on Patreon, <laughs> if you're watching this on YouTube, please hit that subscribe button, bell icon, all notifications, and vote this up to let YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching. I'm Jabby Kawai. This is Achara Kirk. Peace out.